Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara. I am a 39 year old mother of five, beauty and fitness lover. I am a nurse and I love to do makeup in my free time. Today I'm gonna to be doing a chatty get ready with me. Do not turn away just yet. I promise I'm not oversharing. I just wanna share with you what's going on in my life at the moment. I did not upload last week. I have been up above my, actually above my head and things that need to be, be done. Been swimming and treading water like no one's business, let me tell you. It has been absolute chaos. I just wanna share that with you and play with a couple things that I have completely neglected. A lot of things I love and neglected and I am ashamed of it because these things are so good. A lot of the new shiny stuff caught my attention and I just was playing with new stuff and forgot about the old new stuff that caught my attention. So this is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna to play with those and share a little bit of myself with you. So if all that sounds good, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. I do try to upload two to three videos a week Minus what's going on right now, and for good reason, if you stick along, for very good reason, I do. This eye look, just for a little housekeeping, is in a separate video I almost forgot to mention. This is separate. This is the Blend Bunny Longing Palette. I have it over here somewhere. This one. This is the Blend Bunny Longing Palette. I have been sitting on it for like two weeks. I bought it the day it launched on June 26th. Just had too much happening, haven't had a chance to play with it. This is, if it's not up already, it will be up soon, but I'm pretty sure this one's already up. Either way, there will be a link in the description box if you're curious. And as for everything on my face, it is also linked down below. So if you click on those links to make a purchase, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I truly appreciate you. So without further ado, let's get personal, but in a good way. I just have a couple things I wanna share with you, but also this is makeup that I don't wear enough that I love, things I have neglected, and I don't know why, other than the fact that there's always new, new, and I just, I get caught up in that new, new. Many of you probably already know that I work nights, I work every weekend. I have a son who graduated, it, well, he's my second child. My son graduated in May. He is leaving in two weeks time, literally two weeks for Texas. He joined the Air Force. He's going to basic. And my heart is just doing lots and lots of tumbles. I am not sleeping the best just because like I have dreams about it. I have a lot of dreams about it. And it's keeping me from getting a good night's sleep. This is the Dior Star Filter. Well, not Star Filter. Yeah, Star Filter. Uh, mine's in the shade Zero. This is not neglected. I use this all the time, but that was my Tatcha Liquid Silk. I also use that all the time. So there's like a little caveat here and there in this video, but I do want to point out um, the majority of these have been neglected, but I, some of these primers I just love and I can't stop myself from using. But yeah, he is going off to Texas in two weeks time. I am trying to plan a going away party for him. He doesn't want a whole lot. He really just wants a cute cake. Well, I say cute, but he wants a cake. He wants it to be red velvet. It's very simple. And I'm working on trying to find a company that will do it and make it a blue cake and have his symbol for the Air Force on it. This is a very neglected foundation. One of my OG all-time favorites. I've used it for years. This is the Armani Luminous Silk. I have mine in the shade 3.75, which is honestly probably a little too deep for me right now, but I can never go wrong with this foundation. It just always wears perfectly for me, no matter the occasion. I don't have to stress. I know it's gonna wear perfect in a, in a way that is flattering. It's not gonna break down and look like it's cakey and settle into all my lines no matter what event I'm trying to go to. And I say that like I go to a lot of events, I really don't. I have a lot to be grateful for. I have five children ranging from the ages of 20 to seven months. So much to be thankful for, so much to always look forward to. This moving out aspect because my oldest has not moved out and I'm not in a hurry for him to move out. This is new for me and it's very hard for me to process. I mean, a lot of you probably understand how I'm feeling. And if you 
have any advice. I'm, I'm open to advice on how you handled your adult children moving out. Please tell me because I'm not handling it so well. There are nights where I just kind of wake up very tearful, remembering him as a small boy, and it's hard for me to let go and just remember that he is a grown man now and grown man, and I need to let him make his life choices, right or wrong, good or bad, and you know, support him and not try to coddle him. I don't, I don't want to do that at all by any means. I'm just going to wipe away a lot of this excess with one of my Sephora sponges. You can get this in a pack of four. It comes with two of these darker pink and two of these round lighter pinks. But what I was trying to say was this is just new territory for me to navigate. I need one to go see my doctor to kind of get all this off of my chest. And you know, I want to make sure I've done right by my children. I think we all have that fear that are we doing enough? Did we do enough? Was there something we neglected? Is there something else that needs to be done? You know, there's there's always something. And right now he is learning how to drive before he goes because he never wanted to learn how to drive. And I am feeling that stress. That is hitting me hard. <laughs> Cause I wanna make sure that this goes well and he gets that license before he goes off so that there's no issues with it. He doesn't have to try to schedule coming back here on leave to get it taken care of. I just want to be done with it. I'm trying to stay positive because I know he will succeed. You know, it's just that fear of, did I do a good job of raising my son to be a productive member of society? And it's, it's not easy for me to come on camera and say, oh my gosh, this is what's stressing me out. And this is what is stressing me out and keeping me from recording because there's just so much to do to make sure that he gets started on the right foot, that his leave, not leave, that him leaving is done. Everything complete, no stress, no fuss, no muss. We didn't forget anything. I want him to succeed in a way that I did not. I don't look forward to going to Texas, but I am looking forward to going to Texas for his graduation. I grew up in Texas. I was born and raised in Texas. I don't have the best memories of Texas. So Texas is not for me. I moved away the first chance I got and I've never had that desire to ever move back. I think after his graduation, you know, we'll know more, but if I'm not mistaken, he's supposed to be going to Utah after. So I look forward to that because I've never been to Utah and I'm really excited to go see him settled. I just, I'm gonna miss my boy. And I have so much to plan, this party, this going away event, and I want it to be the perfect party so that, you know, he feels all of our love and support. I think I forgot to mention, this is my Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Concealer. I have mine in the shade 1.7 Honey. I love this. I stopped using it for some reason. I can't remember. I haven't used it in so long, and this is such a good concealer. I used it a couple weeks ago for the first time after quite a while, and I was like, Wow, I forgot how much this was so good. This is my Dior Lavender Powder, not neglected in the least all the time. I love this powder, I love it. I use it any chance I get. My kids are right now at a lake in Wisconsin enjoying some, well my oldest three, they're enjoying some much needed away time, much needed bonding one-on-one -on -one time, and they're with their grandmother having the, the time of their life. I've been getting pictures of my kids out there on the lake, enjoying themselves in canoes, and it's just, it's heartwarming. I'm glad they have this chance to bond before Seth goes off, and I love that for them, I really do. I have not worn the Victoria Beckham Contour Liner. This is the Sculpt and Detail Contour Stylus. I haven't worn this in months, and this thing was so expensive. What shade is mine in? I can never remember. Travertine. I remember when I first got it, I felt like, one, it's too expensive for how much product you get in here, but two, it wasn't as emollient as I was hoping it would be. But I do like that this is easy to travel with and very detailed, fine point, like I can't overdo it. I just feel like I have to work really quickly to make this blend out. I don't like 
that it's a little too stiff. You could use a lighter to warm up the, the formula. I'm looking forward to the, the, the looking forward to the Dior contour that's coming out with the new stick foundation. Martina Lilly already has her video up on it. I, oh, I'm smitten. I cannot wait. Like, you know, I'm getting that. That's, that's in the bag already buying that. And the only reason I'm not with the children on the lake is I've got the two small ones and I still have to work. I didn't plan that time off for work. I'm gonna use my Anna Sui Lavender Water Powder. This thing is amazing. Not really neglected at all. I have been getting my money's worth out of using this. This is a stunning formula. I'm gonna use a Fantasy Cosmetica face brush. This thing is massive. Speaking of time off, because my time off as a travel nurse is scheduled into my contract, so that's why I'm not with the children right now. I'm also with the, th the two smaller ones, my son Ryan and my son Henry. Those times off, they have to get approved before my contract is signed. Most of, I've never had any problems with my time off being approved. My time off has, has typically never been an issue except for one experience where the manager just completely scheduled me through my time off request. And when I confronted her about it, she would not take me off of the schedule. It became a problem, but also I wanted to renew my contract because I loved my experience there. So I didn't want to cause any, any waves. I let it be. And besides, it's not like I was going anywhere. I just, I liked splitting up my contract halfway through each one. So like a typical contract for me is 13 weeks. I will at the halfway point, somewhere in the six to seven week mark, schedule time off and just take a week to myself. One, it kind of extends that contract a little bit. Gives me a little bit more time to figure out if I like the place, if I want to redo. But two, I like to have that mental downtime 13 weeks straight of no time off because it's very rare that I call off. I don't get paid time off. And I think, well, no, let me take that back. The company I'm with, if you work a certain number of weeks contracted with them, they start to give you time off. But if you take any breaks in between, like say you go that contract and you work with a different company, you'll lose all of that that you've accumulated. I haven't used any yet. I just, it's rare that I take time off, but that's how that works. I just renewed my contract today, so I'm looking forward to the time off that I do have scheduled to go to Texas to watch my son graduate from basic because I know he's gonna do it, so I don't have to fear. This is my Dior bronzer in the shade Terra. I believe that's 02. There has not been new Tom Ford bronzers and goodness knows how long. This is still the exact same one you can get. I got the original shade in gold dust, but then Martina had this one. I was like, oh, the matte shade is way prettier. This one is one of the best bronzers I've ever used. Price point aside, if I ignore the price point, one of the best formulas. I am looking forward to planning my trip. I'm looking forward to getting my contract. Uh, well, actually I already signed it, but getting moving with my second, second contract on this cardiovascular unit. I have loved, loved my experience doing cardiovascular. I, I know I mentioned at the beginning of the year in one of my videos discussing being a travel nurse, how much cardio has caught me off guard. Cardiology was one of my weak points in school and I never thought I would ever get the hang of it. Here I am years later doing cardiology and having the time of my life with it. I was doing med surge because med surge pays more. It just does, and I was going for whatever contract would pay me more. This opened up on their cardiology unit, and I was like, please, please take me, because I just found such a love for cardio, and neuro is still probably my favorite aspect of nursing, but I haven't found a neuro unit yet, and I'm still working local because my son is still under a year, and I don't want to travel far with my son being so young. I wanna be able to come home and see him every day after work. So local contracts just work out better for me for the time being. And with my husband working from home five days a week, doing the weekend night shift is still better dynamically for us. I don't like working night shift because of the back and forth, but it pays the bills and it works out with the kids and I don't have to stress out about daycare, which you guys, I don't have to tell you, daycare is crazy. 
So thankfully I have my mother-in-law who on those days where like Friday or Monday, she fills in the gaps a saint. I could never do this without her because most of my time filming during the week is because of her. One of my favorite neglected brush blushes, not brushes, is the Westman Atelier. This is the Baby Cheeks Powder Blush. And this one is in the shade Petal. Came out for the holidays last year. I, it's, mmm, the formula is amazing. One of my favorite powder formulas. This thing is so underrated. It needs to be in a permanent lineup. I'm really hoping that Gucci Westman will launch an entire lineup of blushes in this formula. Packaging is like A plus, A plus plus plus, just like the rest of her packaging. We just need a powder blush lineup from her, luminous and matte, and then I will be a happy camper. I am going to repurpose I say repurpose because it, it feels easier for me to say repurpose. Repurpose my son's room, change it up, and put both of my boys in there, my two youngest ones. I need my smallest one out of my room. He, I love him to death, but I need my room back for me and my husband, and I want to avoid that, that time period where they go, kind of like that toddler stage of wanting to be in your bed every night, because that is a hard stage to break. If you let them in your bed, they never want to leave. So I want to try to avoid that as much as possible. And his room is big enough that I could put both of those boys in there and hopefully avoid that stage of Henry ever wanting to be in my bed. Let's do some highlight now. My favorite highlighter, but also most neglected because sometimes I've just been using luminous blushes and ignoring highlighter altogether. The Hollywood Glow Architect, Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. I have mine in the shade Moonlit Glow. This is one of my absolute all-time favorite highlighters. Like I said, I just don't really use it because I've been luminous blushes and like skipping the highlight thing, but also uh, I've kind of been phasing out of highlighter. Part of me just feels like highlighter can be very, mm, a little overrated. I'm gonna use my Kogan Doe powder. This is the My Fonchi Pressed Powder. Holy moly, when I say it is so good and so underrated, it really is that girl. Just the packaging is so cheap and I don't really care for the cheap flimsy packaging at the price point, it's like $100. That aspect aside, the powder is the creme de la creme. Definitely neglected, should not be neglected ever. I love this. I'm gonna use a Chica Hodo face brush here and I'm going to pick it up and just buff out the edges of my blush and then right through the t-zone because this is a brightening powder it's mattifying but it's also luminous and it has no scent to it but it's oh it's so good makes my makeup last all day it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't look heavy does it make my makeup look cakey? Not neglected at all. This is the Hourglass number one lip liner. I just, I don't have a lot of lip liners that I neglect. I definitely have a lot of lip liners, but none that really come to mind as like a great lip liner that I need to use more often. This is the best I'm gonna do for my poor lips, but this is the Westman Atelier Matte Lipstick Lip Suede in the shade Jar Rev. Great formula, a little too much slip for me, but I love the formula, it's so smooth. Mm. And it smells like chocolate, it smells heavenly. One of my favorite lipstick formulas, just neglected. I surely need to pull it out way more often. This look just came together for me perfectly. I love it. I neglect a lot of this makeup just for the pure reason that there's so much. I own too much. I'm so excited to wear this for the rest of the day. I just, I want you guys to know that the last week where I didn't have any videos up, absolute chaos in my life. Planning my son leaving, the children going on vacation, the two smallest ones, my youngest is trying to crawl. I love watching him get up on his hands and knees and just 
rock back and forth trying to scoot around where he wants to go. My four-year-old, him not being in school, you can definitely notice a trend in his behavior. School is so good for him. I love filming. This is my escape from all of that chaos. Work has been very difficult. Some of my patients recently have really taken that energy out of me that I need, and I'm more of an introvert, so my time in front of camera is for me, and it is so relaxing for me, so I love it. I love when I have an opportunity to do it. It's just over the last week of planning and family needs, I haven't had a chance to. It has been very difficult to keep up. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I had so much fun. As always, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. I truly appreciate you more than you know. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it, including myself. I need to remember to do that myself.